everybody to another pantomime, another year of iffy songs and rather rotten rhyme. We're in the woods again, you'll note the same old tricks and sticks. This tree's been in it every year since... 1976. <laughs> they all live round here, you know. There's Mother Goose and Jack. Cinderella, she's up at Dunskiving with her coach parked round the back. The three little pigs, they live here. Or one of them, that is. Two of them didn't quite make it. Still, that's a friend of mine, so it is. <laughs> Fairy godmothers, witches, elves, and wizards stand beyond. With half the kind heads of Europe and lily pads on the school pond. But this story's a bit on the quiet. Nothing much goes on. Quaint and simple storyline. Of, of course, course, we could be wrong. <laughs> Sybil, Sybil, where are you? You naughty school, you. We really must be going, and it's nearly half past two. Here I am, Red Riding Hood, and less of the Sybil, please. You've no idea how the other squirrels like to taunt and tease. Scavenger of the forest, that's my name. I'm mean and cool and tough. Not something you get in the shops. All big brown eyes and fluff. But Sybil's just right for you. And they're not really suits. I think you're a squidgy uncle, young. Oh, no! She's going to call me cute! <laughs> Well, 
ladies. He's a cauldron, has a kettle. <laughs> Look, get a basket from your mum with lots of food to tempt her. And don't worry about Granny Hood. She's just got a bit of a tent. <clears throat> She's all right, really. It's Granny Hood. Just a bit strange in her head. <laughs> She's just got the one cauldron and the cat and a cottage made of gingerbread. <laughs> Well, I'll be off, Father, quick as I can, off to Granny's place. I've got some stewed bread, butter cheese, and garlic. And <laughs> 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 right, and mind the wolf. What? William? He's a big soft dude. That girl. <laughs> Like that and giving him a scare. Mm. I've 
gone and lost my page now. William, you're a wealthy clerk. A ferocious animal, you. You should be stalking deer and such, not reading. Pictures from the zoo? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were there all the time. My sense of smell, you know. That's no big deal. Sybil speaks the pongs and everyone's nose. Shut up, me. I'm not cut out for being a wolf. That's what my family say. I'm not your predator type, really. I'm more for running away. <laughs> Easy picking too. 
coats in the back. I like a little mugging and running off with the swag. No, no, Megan. Burgers what I have in mind. Something a little more professional. To be really worth our time. Cor, you're a bad little knocker. A real professional, you. Who are we going to burgle then? Who are we going to do? Just a minute, because I think I hear the sound. Let's hide behind this tree and see what's to be found. It's really too much of Sybil and softer willing to boot. I think they're cowardly custards and that's at all quite cute. Well now little girl, where might you be up with this nice red bread and crunch and basket full of scarf? I'm at the <laughs> yeah. grandma mark and there's a lemon you see. I'm taking her a flask of stew so she can have a tea. Live so low my poor old dear. And did you say down there? Yes, she can't mistake her with a and silvery hair. She must be grateful for a child who looks after her like that. She wrongles, jewellery. Ow, why did you do that? Excuse my friend's bad manners, dear. Please don't disapprove. You see, when he was only three, he had his brain surgically removed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must not stop or else this stew will go quite thick and cold. And Granny in a mood about food is something to behold. Well, off you go then. Don't mind us. Yes, we're simple, humble burgers. Ow! <laughs> you <laughs> might have meant you bless, for princesses and shucks like that. Are there all three princesses around here? There aren't. No, Granny sort of that. <laughs> <laughs> If we get a mover, we can do a bit of robbing. Get a move on with my foot. Mm. It's all pink and sore and throbbing. Oh, come on. Let's eyes ever see it. Spout this cottage for instance, extension. 
Did you use building regulations? Have you got planning permission? What <laughs> are you on about? The gutter room's made of candy. You can't have edible drains. But this is a pantomime <laughs> forest. It never flipping rains. <laughs>
talking to me when you're frightened. I'm off, I'm busy. Frightened? <laughs> Running? What's going on? Is everybody mad? I'm a wolf, for heaven's sake. I'm seriously quite bad. <laughs>
Right, that 
that's it. We're going straight. Our duty will not shirk. Tell me, this spell, the nasty one, does it always work? Always. Oh, no. <laughs> So Granny's left her hovel, the woman to rescue Riding Hood, the robbers to try and grovel. Meanwhile, a wicked, nasty wolf had streaked ahead like lightning and had got into the cottage and was practising being frightening. He knew Miss would be going there. It wasn't just plain luck. It was traditional in pantomimes. And anyway, he'd read the book. <laughs> Now go and get 
harder. And you can start by doing my good. Yes, Granny. <laughs> all had fun and now our cast would like to say goodbye to everyone. We suggest you all leave quickly. We would if we were you. Before our granny wants to and finds out that it's you. It's you! <laughs>